Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, this is our stock up, summer stock up pantry grocery haul number two. So I have a couple things here, not a lot, but a couple things. So I have three of the Sweet Baby Ray's no sugar added sauces. So I've got two honey mustards, one hickory barbecue. Uh, my friend Tiffany sent me coupons. So they were a dollar off, so $1.78 at Walmart. We picked up a few of those little treats for the dogs. That's not in the prep. And then these uh, sweet potatoes, we are going to eat those. Picked up broccoli and cauliflower. They will buy one, get one free at $2.69. And then we picked up a couple of uh, hot dogs. They were two. No, they were $6.99. Buy one, get one free. In this uh, grocery haul, I picked up four cases of water, the 24-count water. We had a, a rain check for $2.77 per case. They were out when we went to pick some up. So we do have those now to the garage. We're actually going in the garage. We're gonna show you, uh, we're gonna put up all of the uh, stuff we got last night in this haul. We're gonna put all of that into the garage um, in this video, and then we'll take you guys on a tour of our garage. Alrighty, you guys, so good morning. It's the next day or the next day, I don't even remember. But I am heading into Aldi this morning to see how I can round out a little bit more of my list. Um, so I have gotten about 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 weeks of my list done. So I'm going into Aldi this morning to see what else I can grab from my list. Um, toilet paper, I am going to mark off because one of my friends actually brought me two big things. Probably came from Costco. Let me put you guys on a tripod. I believe it came from Costco. So up here on week 30, it has a pack of four toilet paper. So I'll cross that off the list. And then there's toilet paper again. On week 50, toilet paper. That's one of the things I think on this list that's a little bit like, hmm. Because you only get toilet paper on, let me go back and make sure I'm not reading this wrong. Okay, you get toilet paper on week 9, so I'm crossing that off. You get toilet paper again. Week 46 has toilet paper. Week 50 has toilet paper. Week 30. I'll probably, if I were doing this list over, would put toilet paper on week one. You know what I mean? So you're starting off with toilet paper and then work your way down. I'm assuming that they assume you already have stores because for the first eight weeks, you don't get toilet paper until the week nine. And then you get feminine products as well. So I'm going to go back, go through and see what is on this list that I can find. Oh, I forgot to mark off week 39. That had beans. Week 14, I got it. Okay. But I'm shopping with $50 to see what I can get from this list, or that would be uh, week 21 has toilet paper. So they had toilet paper up here a couple times, just later than I would have preferred. Again, with my Whole30 Keto Trim Healthy Mama-ish restrictions, see what I can find to stock the pantry. I actually probably need to go out into the pantry and see if there are things that we need. Because yesterday, Alana said, Mom, I hate to tell you this, but you need coffee. And I'm like, little girl, don't play no games. Because I know I got coffee last time it was on sale at Food Line. She's like, no, Mom, I got the last one out. Jackson's like, Alana, you didn't look. Mom does, Mom is not out of coffee. I'm not out of coffee. I got coffee stashed in all kinds of places in this house. Um, I was cleaning something out in the coffee station this morning and found two more bags. I was like, oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Hallelujah. Because we can't run out of coffee. It's Memorial Day here. No meetings today. We don't meet on, on um, holiday week weekends or the holiday itself. And so, um, 
I do have time to do things around my house today. A couple things that are going to be done are specifically in my kitchen or pantry. Um, one of my, my deep freezer needs to be defrosted and it needs to be defrosted pretty bad. Um, it's making a weird sound and there's a lot of ice in there where the kids forget to close it all the way. So I'm going to grab the cooler down, put as much meat in there as I can, as much in the fridge as we can and try to take it outside to get some good sun. And then hopefully it will defrost quick, quicker. Um, so we can just get the ice off, wash it out real quick and come back in. And that way we'll be able to do an inventory to know what we do have and what we can add or what we are living off of for the summer. I'm getting a lot of spam comments on my on my um, videos. So I know my my channel is going through another one of those weird, weird algorithm things because it only happens when that happens. Um, so I'm having to go and clean out those types of things. And also, um, some of my videos are being, uh, dinged for a copyright claim. Some of the music I use in InShot, they're saying it belongs to somebody else. I'm having to go in every single video uh, that gets dinged and change the music out. So if you hear weird music in an old video, it's just because I'm trying to change out the music. I'm trying to pick instrumental music because I don't want any words to come through, but these are all free on YouTube. So I'm trying to just be mindful of words and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get instrumental stuff because um, I, don't, I don't need any words coming through. I was listening to something. Yeah. And some of the titles, I'm like, mm -mm, that just brings my spirit down. We cannot be putting that on my video. So I'm having to go through, I mean, I get a couple every day because I used this quite a lot in the very beginning. So... <clears throat> Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and go out to Aldi, do it now while it's early. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so by the time I drive over, it should be well opened. Um, see what I can find, get in and get out, because I need to come back and do stuff here. I'm pretty much over that sickness. I, like I said, I push my body. I can start, right? You can start to see a little bit of definition coming from the, I've been in the gym, in the gym. Now this weekend, I didn't go to the gym. I walked it's Friday, I walked Saturday and Sunday and I did the bike Saturday and Sunday. Today is Monday, I may go to the gym, but um, I may not because I don't wanna go out again. So I'm gonna go now to um, Aldi and I don't wanna go to the gym, then Aldi, then come home because I'm gonna be tired, but I am gonna walk when I get back. Um, but I'm going to do that and then defrost the freezer, work in the pantry. We have the whole separate tour of the pantry video, inventory video coming out, which will be separate from this video. I'm just going to show you the Aldi haul here. And then we'll have a whole nother video of um, cleaning out the, gar uh, the garage pan pan pantry and inventory. And then we'll have another video for cleaning out the deep freezer inventory in that and then I'll have some meal prep going on as well so a couple videos because I'm kind of lack in my videos I only have one more and then I have a budget video to film so I'm going to be filming most of the day but I'm off and I don't have to work which is good so anywho I'm going to jump on over to Aldi very quickly okay so here's something that I find just like crazy Peanut butter, 169. That's probably probably pretty average. That's about um, that's an average size. But they have the almond butter. This small one is 12 ounces and it's 4.95. You can get like four or five times that one at Costco for like six dollars and some. It might have gone up just a tiny bit, but not overly much. Um, on the list, it calls for 32 ounces of honey. This is 24 ounces and it's $6.99. So um, we've been getting the sugar-free honey from um, Walmart, but so I'm not gonna pick that up. This is 24 ounces and it's $7.99. And this is uh, clover honey, but that's $7.99. So that's more expensive than even this one, which is raw honey, it says. If I look on the back, it's just honey. This might be good though. Just to have as regular, hmm. Gosh, cause there's nothing else in that but honey. Let me look on the back of this one. Nope, that's just honey too. So that's exclusively honey. 
carbs, so 17 grams for a tablespoon of carb. So I'm gonna hold off on honey for now because that's not on my plan. Although I don't think I don't think you can have honey on whole 30. Shoot. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and, and check that real quick to see if you can have honey on whole 30. I don't think you can. I know you can I have date sauce, date syrup, which is just dates. Um and I have been having that a little bit, not a lot of that, but I'm gonna check that out. Okay, back to some of these prices. So this is tomato paste. Tomato paste used to be 25 cents, it's now 62 cents. Remember it's that concentrated, and of course you dilute it with water, but um, this used to be 25 cents, now it's 62 cents. Um, same for the tomato sauce, that used to be a quarter. Now it's 38 cents. Um, we do a lot of diced tomatoes because we like tomatoes a lot. I am going to pick up some carrots because we've been using some of these in roast. So I know for sure I have used up um, quite a few of these. So I think I'm going to get six carrots and put that in my cart. All right, so I'm going to come over here. You got two pounds of beans, right? Pinto beans for $1.79 which are less than a dollar a pound. So it's almost like 90 cents per pound, which is a good deal. And then the same for your northern beans. So I'm gonna pick up two of the, um, one for the great northerns and one for the um, pinto beans. We don't really love black beans a lot, so I'm not gonna spend on that. But I'm gonna come over and get some coconut milk. Um, I'm going to get two of these because we use these on Whole30. And then we're trying to decrease our dairy just a little bit more to see if that's what's keeping me holding on weight. Even though I'm changing my diet and I'm working out. Um, I love it, love it, love it with my whole heart. But it doesn't always love me. So we're going to go back to less, less dairy. We may still have some every now and then. But I'm going to go back and grab a couple things of the coconut milk and throw those in. Here's another one. Um, these mushrooms, pieces and stems, these used to be like 50 cents or even less than that. They're now 92 cents. Here's a really good deal. This is a first alert waterproof, fire safe, fireproof. So it's waterproof, fire resistant, um, media protecting um, for $26.99. I think that's an excellent price if you're looking for something just to keep at home that uh, can hold all of your valuables. It totally has nothing to do with um, <laughs> groceries. But I love these cork board ballet flats. Aren't they cute? They even feel like they're cork board. Made out of the cork board material. They're cute. But again, that is a good price. And it's pretty sturdy. That's pretty sturdy. I may have to come back and investigate that further, but $26.99. Alrighty, you guys, so I'm back from Aldi and I will share with you what we what I picked up. It was just me this morning. The kids were doing other stuff. So I picked up six cans of the cream style uh, sweet corn. We don't, I don't eat corn, but Jackson eats corn. And then I thought, hey, if I do start eating corn, I have some Jiffy cornbread mix that we could make like a, um, we could make like a um, corn souffle and I would use that. Then I also picked up six of the sweet corn. I picked up 12 cans of the carrots because we have been using carrots quite a lot in roast and things. I picked up one thing of sliced pineapple. They were up to $1.28 and one for crushed. This is for a recipe. Picked up two cans of the coconut milk picked up just some plates. Now this was for summer stocking, uh, just using, you know, getting things that we need to have for the summer months. Some summer months are my leaner months as far as money is concerned. So stock up now while you can, while you have the money and um, it works out perfectly for us. I picked up two things of onion powder, four things of the brown gravy mix. Now I know being keto and Whole30, some of these already put together things aren't 
um, allowed. But again, we're doing the best we can with what we have. And sometimes these just help us to get through. I picked up two things of the sugar-free, fat-free uh, vanilla pudding and two of the chocolate pudding. I picked up two things of the extra virgin olive oil. We don't have olive oil right now, so that's going to help us. In addition to that, I picked up um, some Winking Owl wine. I picked up a Pinot Grigio, and I picked up a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. And I don't drink wine to drink it, but I do like to cook with it. The Pinot Grigio, I love that in my uh, cauliflower risotto. And then I thought for the red wine, I could use that in roast. I've seen a couple recipes where they use red wine to deglaze the pan or to put in the um, crock pot. I think Kimmy uses a red wine. And then I saw, I think it's Becky on Acre Homestead that uses red wine. So I just thought, hey, as far as a flavor enhancer, cook the alcohol off, but give it some flavor. And I know when I use the Pinot Grigio in my cauliflower risotto, it just makes it taste different. And I do love that. Picked up some of this whipped topping. It's coconut milk. I can have that. Picked up two pounds of the Great Northern Beans as well as the Pinto Beans. And then as I was on my way out, I did see this deal. Now, I'm not eating wraps right now, but my kids love them. These are the low-carb whole wheat wraps, four net grams. They were a dollar, They were marked down to $1.99 and then had a dollar off ticket. So I paid $0.99. Cents. I picked up four of those. They'll go in the freezer. Picked up some heavy-duty aluminum foil. We do use foil when we do things like bacon uh, just to help with cleanup. I know people are like, you don't have to buy foil. could have saved $3, but still, it just helps make it easier. And then I picked up a thing of um, Pink Lady Apple. So that is what I got. I had $50 to spend, and I actually ended up spending $62 and some change. But I have my own summer stock up prep money that I set to the side. So I just pulled another $12 out of that. So it just leaves me $13 of stock up money for this month, which is no problem. We're going to continue to stock as we're able. What we're getting ready to do now, which you'll see in a separate video, is a, uh, a update of the pantry and a clean out of the pantry to do some inventory and to make sure that we are rotating out our um, stock. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.